you guys have been out on the road once and, and had uh, some good signs. Uh, what do you first sum up a little bit about your opening tournament? Well, we played uh, in Broken Arrow at Emerald Falls Course with Northeastern Tournament. 18 uh, very good programs out of our region. We finished ninth there. Didn't have our best outings, but showed the, the fact that we can play to the top part of that. We've had good rounds, and I think the guys are disappointed in the finish, but also optimistic to we can play to the level we need to. Now, I know you guys as a team, because of you know the practice and stuff you get in, are looking forward to your home event this week, coming up on Monday and Tuesday. Tell me a little bit about looking ahead to the Texoma Championship. Well, it's our one opportunity to play at home, and uh, we need to take advantage of it as far as being some of the people that may be ranked ahead of us already. And uh, we feel like we have a little bit of advantage playing at home, and so hopefully we'll have some good rounds and a good tournament as a team. Uh, what are you looking for out of your guys and, and some, you know, some of your, especially your seniors going into this, uh, or your upperclassmen, I guess, going into this weekend? Well, uh, we have three young men who have a lot of experience. One is a junior college transfer, and two of our guys that are juniors now, Bob Perry and Jim Hunter. And we need to them to have some good scores. They're capable of going under par, but we basically need for them to be real solid all three rounds. And, and be close to that power range all the time and uh, leave the younger guys and they've done a good job of that trying to set an example about how you work and how you prepare to get ready to play. Tell us a little bit about how practice has gone this week. I know you guys get to play out at Chickasaw Point and uh, how has preparation come along? Well, uh, I've seen uh, much more consistency in the total team as far as scores being turned in. Uh, we had eight rounds uh, on Friday that were 74 or better. And that's the kind of area that we need to be in as a team to be real competitive in Division Two. Uh, talk a little bit about the field for the tournament. It's a, it's a little bigger than it might have been in the past couple of years. You've got some real solid teams and a uh, pretty good handful of GAC schools. Yes, we have uh, in our uh, great American let's see, we have uh, Monticello, Arkansas Monticello, Arkansas Tech coming in, Southern Arkansas. So we've got several of those conference teams will be there. We also have some pretty highly ranked D2 schools. Uh, Oakland Christian is new in there. And least but not least, last for sure, is Southwestern, our defending conference champion. Off to a very good start when in tournament last weekend. So some good competition that we need to be able to compete with.